Welcome to Down Under Steve's Workbench. This is the L1. Not finished by a long shot. Uh, a runner, yep. Although I've got to put some, uh, it's going to be running on DCC. So far I've uh, I've painted the main livery colour, which at the moment is gloss black. I must admit, doesn't it? They look terrible when they're in gloss. Um, I've painted the buffer beams, uh, buffer beam red. Uh, I put all the gubbins on the back, the old, uh, I've got the uh, lights and the conduit for the um, for electric lights, Great Eastern Destination Boards uh, holders. I've scraped back the um, brass on the spectacle plates on the bunker and also um, also uh, on the boiler end and it's, uh, it's starting to look like a real L1 now so I ordered some um, press fix transfers yesterday from uh, Tower Models in Blackpool so they're on the way so put those on, a bit more detail in here and there um, Put the crew in and everything. Oh, I've got to do inside. Yet yeah, I've uh, what I did here with the roof. I'll show you. Oh, Solid. There you go. Oh, what I did is a piece of um piece of wire at the front and at the back. Just soldered this on. This is a piece of uh, scrap nickel silver from the frames, and what it does. Because there's a, I don't know what it was in the old one. It could be a bunker, uh, it was could be a locker or something. It fits down in the locker. Anyway, it's a tight fit. And it, it fits well. Still got to um, finish the cab. Got a lot of work to do in there. Uh, finish the cab. Uh, a bit more painting. Add the crew, all that sort of stuff. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Look, let's be honest. It's no Steve Barnfield job or. In ref bone job, but you know what? The bottom line is, I've, I'm doing the best I can, and hopefully, my next model will be better than this one. Um, and just certainly, I think that is the name of the game in modeling you um, you get better, hopefully. And um, who knows? I might be able to give old Raffers a run for his money one day, although, no, I wouldn't, uh, he's too good, and I admire his work. Uh, and I'd love him to paint my Great Northern Atlantic when I build it and paint it in the Great Northern Railway colours because there's no way in the wide world I'm going to do it and line it. Anyway, I'm out of here. Goodbye.